guys, I am taping this as well. Good morning. Here we go. Starting it out. Down and around. All right, those of you just joining in, this is a last minute. Getting it together. Workouts. I think number six for the week. Perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do during this workout is I'm going to talk about why I'm frustrated. So, went through Fitness Pal, and this happens every single time I do a program. So, I need to address it better, I think. Up and around, just warming it up. Up and around. So, you guys are doing a great, great job. Most of you are really following along, logging, communicating with me. One more, one more. Perfect, all right, so we're gonna switch things up now. We're gonna go lunge back, curl, curl. Lunge forward, curl, curl. We're gonna keep that going. So, here's what I'm finding. A lot of you are stuck. So, most of the time there's no such thing as stuck. Most of the time, stuck simply means that we need to figure something out and change it. Your body is going to resist weight loss, always going to resist weight loss. So it is our job to figure out how we can get it to let go of that resistance. Good, good, good. One more. Hold it right here. Curl, curl. So as I go through and I look at people's logs, I really nitpick and try to troubleshoot to find out what you could do to get that scale to move. So, I nitpick. What that means is I micro-analyze and I go deep into your log to see what you could do to improve. So, as your leader, I have mixed feelings about this. Because, one, you're doing a great job. And I don't want to make it look like I'm implying that you're not. So when you ask me to go through your log and look at it, I look at it and done. Good job. All right, now we're going to do the other side. Lunge forward, curl. Lunge back, curl again. And I usually think, wow, this person's doing a great job. But then I also think this person's asking me to evaluate their log and tell them what they can do better. So, with that being said, I always feel bad having to communicate back what you're doing wrong. So please don't ever take that as me saying that you're doing something wrong. All right, do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm not implying in any way that you're not doing a good job. All right, so putting that out there. As I look at the logs, I'm noticing that most people in fact, all people who are completing their logs and their diaries are staying within the caloric range that they're supposed to. So if you're supposed to be at 1,400 calories, you're at 1,400 calories. If you're supposed to stay at 1,600 calories, you're at 1,600 calories. Almost all of you, last one, hold it here, curl, curl. Almost all of you are staying within that range. What I am finding though, is that 
almost all of you, with the exception of a few. Four more, three, two, and drop it. Good job, little break. Um, are not following the meals on the plan. And I realize that that's really difficult to do all the time, but as I'm looking at the log, I'm noticing that less and less I'm seeing the meals on your logs that are on the plan. So, have a quick sip of water, and I'll continue talking about this during the next set. Like my water? I love this jug. Makes it seem like I drink a lot, right? Okay. Let me read the, co the comments here. No more comments? Who else is with me? Only three people? You guys are missing good talking time here. Okay, so. We are going to do a little bit of cardio here during this time. So, here we go. Side, side. So, check it out. I just mailed out. These are your options. I just mailed out a new batch of recipes and food plants. I would say a good 70% of the time, as I was looking at people's logs, I didn't see a lot of these uh, recipes or meals. Keep it going, keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, done. Hold it, hold it. Overhead. Perfect. So, here's the deal. I understand that it is difficult to always follow the food plan, but in the big picture, I would like you to somewhat try and stick to the meals that are on your plan. And down, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna grab a mat. We're gonna sit down. I'm gonna grab a ball. And drop 
this. Woo! I feel that. Ready? Pick it up. And out. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. And hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and drop it. Oh, I really felt that. Hey, I'm digging this little setup here. Kind of killing two birds with one stone. I think I'm going to do this from now on. I'll announce it though. So what's going to happen is I'm going to film this live while I am taping it because then that way I can kind of chat with you guys at the same time. So, all right. Good, okay. Jay, whichever. Oh, hey, okay, Jay! Woo! All right, so, can I talk some more about the food thing now? All right. Amy, good morning. All right, so, grab those weights. So, back on. So, let me talk about the food thing again. Toes are out. Down, up, open. Down, up, open. Okay, so let me give you an example of what I'm seeing. Go on, I see perfect breakfast. Got you fit omelets, all ducks in a row, perfection. I see snap, snap might be a hard boiled egg. Hard boiled eggs great, you guys, but nobody has just a hard boiled egg on their meal plan as a snack. So when I put together your meals and I put together your snacks, the snacks are composed of foods that include certain nutrients, that include different levels of protein, different levels of fat, different levels of carbohydrates. So if I have on there your snack as a hard-boiled egg with some hummus, there's a reason for that. And that reason is to have your body either um, have the ma macronutrients needed at that time to either sustain the hunger to get you to the next meal or to fulfill the needs of your body at that time. And done, good job. All right, next move. Two kicks to the right, punch twice. Two kicks left, punch twice. So moving on, looking at people's lunches. I see a lot of people's lunches might be four ounces of chicken and that's it. I get it, you're busy. Four ounces of chicken is awesome. You didn't do bad by having four ounces of chicken. But four ounces of chicken, one, is not enough calories. Two, has no healthy fat, which your body needs. Three, has no carbohydrates, which your body does need. Three, is not enough calories for your lunch. Four, probably, does not have all the other nutrients needed for you. So by only having that four ounces of chicken, you're doing yourself not an ounce of good. So going back to your food plan, picking one of the five meals, or now you have more than five because you can look back at some of your old plans and putting together a meal that includes a protein, a fat, and a carbohydrate, you are going to get your metabolism moving a lot more effectively than if you just had that chicken. Now I understand because I've done this many times where you think, well I'm really rushed and if I eat less, I'll lose weight, but that is not how it works, all right? Then finally, I'm noticing at dinner, instead of following the protocol for dinner, I'm seeing a lot of put together meals, out to dinner meals, 
that might indeed fall into the caloric range, but they are not part of the plan. And done, good job. And if they're not part of the plan, then the scale is not gonna cooperate because your metabolism is not gonna cooperate. So giving you an example, if you go out to eat and you find a meal that is 400 calories, but the protein's really only 12%, that's not gonna be the same as one of the meals that I have listed for you, where the protein's actually 45%. So this is a lot more complex than you realize, and I really try to keep it simple. So I'm trying to keep it simple by, by having you just stay as close to the plan as you can, and I know you can't all the time. I know you can't all the time. But the more you stray from the plan, the less of a result that you're going to see. All right? Now, let's go back to me saying the part about don't shoot the messenger. Because, again, you guys are rocking this. You are. And I don't want you to think for a second that you're not. Pause the story. You're going to lay on your stomach. My belly button is right on the tip top of this ball. See how I'm on a plank push-up position? I'm going up and down, squeezing my butt. Up, down. Got it? Anyhow, you guys are rocking this thing, and you're doing a great, great job. But if you feel like the skill is not cooperating, or you feel like you're stuck, but yet you are doing everything right because you are sticking to the calories, unfortunately, that is not qualifying for doing everything right. So, my encouragement to you is to go back, try to follow the meal plan as much as you can. If you can't follow the meals as listed, Go back and read the Get You Fit Guide. In the Get You Fit Guide, it talks about what to do if you can't follow the plan. What part of the meals that you should definitely not omit. Definitely never omit the protein or the fat. And one more thing that I'm noticing on Fitness Pal, last one, perfect. Please tell me you felt that. One more thing that I'm noticing on Fitness Pal is a lot of you are picking the lowest valued um, option. So for example, you go out to eat and you have steak, and so you are selecting the steak on Fitness Pal that is the lowest of calories. So you need to be less, um, you need to be a little bit more uh, open-minded and uh, don't underestimate your calories so much. So yesterday I was looking at someone's blog. They went out to a steak restaurant and they had an eight ounce filet and they put down that it was 120 calories. So I don't know where that came from, but I can tell you that an eight ounce filet anywhere even made at home with no butter or oil is going to be about, oh, I don't know, 600 calories. Um, so the 120 calories, I don't know where that came from. So that person who thought they were spot on with calories, way off. So that could be another issue was not meeting their calories, or thinking they've met their calories and they have not. So, I hope this was helpful, you guys. My butt's burning. Good, keep going. Three more. Good. Two more. Last one. And, woo! Awesome job, you guys. Good work, good work, good work. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of type up all of this 
um, and put it out um, in a document form to kind of talk about the um, the issues with uh, why the scale might not be moving and entering on Fitness Pal and such. But whew, scary here, scary here. The bottom line is this: this is all normal. It's all part of of this process. Um, I do it. I've done it. Um, I, for years, thought that just meeting my calories was enough to get that scale cranking, and and you know what? It is at some point, especially at the beginning. But once your body starts moving in weight loss, it, you just got to fine tune. And I don't want anybody wasting time thinking that cutting calories is enough because you got to do it right. And I don't want you wasting any time doing it wrong because once you figure this out, it really is the easiest thing. Well, not really, but it sounds like the right thing to say. Anyways, guys, you rock. See you later. Have a good day.